Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be going over my high growth investment stock portfolio. My name's Connor and my goal is to make straightforward investing and money making videos. Videos that are easy for everybody to understand. Maybe you're new to the investment world, maybe you want to start a new side hustle or maybe you just want to make a little bit of extra money. If that sort of thing interests you please consider subscribing to my channel. We're going to be going over the stocks that I'm currently invested in, exactly what my portfolios were and some of my plans for the portfolio in the future. So I do highly recommend that you watch this video all the way through. Maybe you can quickly just smash that like button because that's really going to help the channel in the long run and I'd really appreciate it. If I do say anything in any of my videos that you don't understand, please do leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll make an entire video explaining that word or that concept and I really want to make a community of people and help as many people as I can along their investment or money making journey. So without wasting any more of your time, I just want to quickly say I am not a financial advisor. Everything I say in my videos is just my my own opinions. Without anything else, let's get straight to this video. I started this particular portfolio about a year ago when I quit my full-time job as an acrobat and I started to invest more and more of my time into online money making. And as I've been very frugal and very good with saving my money over about the past 10 years, I managed to save up enough money to start a proper large investment portfolio. I made my very, very first investments about three or four years ago. And since then I've been slowly and surely building up different portfolios and different positions. But it was only about a year ago that I started full on with this particular portfolio. So this is my high growth investment portfolio. It means I invest in a lot of speculative stock. They're not value stocks, but they're stocks that I believe have a long term future and have awesome plans that I can really get behind. They're world changing companies. I want my money to go towards changing the world and making it a better place. That's my own personal investment philosophy. Hopefully the things that I've invested in will give you some ideas or open your eyes to possible investments that you can make in the future. If you want to start your own investment portfolios and you're in the UK, I highly suggest either free trade or Trading 212. They're both very simple apps that you can download onto your phone and you can start investing right now. The links are in my bio. Sign up to either one of those and you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. So it's a win-win situation for all of us. Now let's jump into my phone and we'll jump directly into my free trade portfolio. The date is December 19, 2020 and we're currently sitting at 54,000 £225. This is the highest my portfolio has ever been but as I said earlier most of these stocks are very speculative and they can go up and down within the days. You can have huge fluctuation daily. There's a chance that I could be losing all of my gains at any given moment. You have to know that when you're going into it. I like risk. I like speculation. My favourite and I love companies that I think are going to change the world. So let's get this off started with Tesla which is my biggest position at £7,707. We're currently sitting at $695 per share, which is absolutely incredible. In the last year, Tesla's up 660%. That's huge. That's over a seven times gain. So if you had a bought back in March, which is where I bought a small amount, you would be up five, six, seven times. But you know, I only put a small amount in. I've been buying on the way up. Now I must say I have a slightly different investment style than you see a lot of YouTubers saying I am a long-term investor. What I do is if I see huge gains in a day or in a few days, we're talking 30, 40, 50% in a few days, I will sell off some of that position. Because the stocks that we're involved in are highly speculative, it means that people will jump in at any given news. And for me, I don't think a 30 to 40% gain in a day is a sustainable. Nearly always it comes back down. And it's exactly the same on the other side. So if we see huge drops in a day, you know, 10, 20, 30% in a day, I will start to buy those dips. That's my investment philosophy. That I put my money into things that I believe in in the long run. If I see huge gains, then I'll sell a small portion of it and buy back lower. If it doesn't come back down, there's no harm because I still have my main shares that I wish to hold for the long term. I really do love Tesla as an investment because they're going to change the world. There's thousands of videos out there that will go in depth for Tesla. I waffle on way too much. Sorry, this is meant to be a quick video. Investment number two is Beyond Me. This is one of my favorite companies just behind Tesla. I'm sure you've seen Beyond Me everywhere. They're bringing out one in McDonald's. They're literally everywhere. They're pretty much the number one vegan burger brand. In my opinion, the consumption of meat and the amount of meat that we eat is not sustainable. People are gonna be cutting down that. We're gonna be producing more and more of these vegan meats and these vegan alternatives. I really think that Beyond Me is an awesome opportunity. They're quite high valued right now, but I believe in their long-term vision. I believe they have a massive future ahead of them, and that's why I'm invested in Beyond Me. So that investment is 7,000 pounds. Now, my third largest 
investment is Dropbox. Now this might be surprising to some people, but Dropbox is a cloud storage solution that's been around for ages. I used to use Dropbox ages ago. Why I believe in this company is they currently have a little bit over 600 million users. They're pushing out more and more paid services to those users and a lot of people are signing up. They've also recently signed a company called HelloSign, which is one of DocuSign's competitors and DocuSign is doing really well. This online signing space is something that's only gonna grow and Dropbox is gonna be able to ride that wave along with any other acquisitions that they make along the way. I just think Dropbox is just a great company right now and they're really well positioned to have massive growth. They also haven't seen the massive growth like we saw in Tesla at over 700%. Actually, the year to date is only 30%, miles less a lot of the other tech companies that we've seen. There's great potential upside for this company and I'm happy to keep my money in this, you know, for the long run. So investment number four is Fisker. Now, this is actually my second favorite electric car company after Tesla. I absolutely love it. I love the story. Henrik Fisker is the CEO and he basically started a company that rivaled Tesla back in 2012, I think it was. But yeah, they basically went bankrupt trying to push this. Just like Tesla, nobody wanted an electric car back in 2012, so it just didn't work. A lot of people hate on Fisker because of the fact that Henrik Fisker actually went bankrupt before. But I personally think that the fact that he's gone bankrupt, he had a failure and now he's come back and he's trying again. He would have learned so much from that failure that this time he's going to be stronger than ever. I love the way the car is designed. I'll pop up a little picture. Woo! I just love the way it looks. I think it's going to be a real competitor against the Model Y. It has an amazing price point around $37,000 for the base model, which is amazing. How cheap is that? I want to get one. I have made a lot of money in this when it was pre-IPO, when it was still a SPAC company. I bought it at £10 and then I sold it at around £20. Yeah, so back in November, yeah, 1990 is where I sold it. Like I said, I saw massive gains, so I sold a lot of the position and I started, as you can see, buying a lot at the start of December where they went back down again. So number five, we have Hylion. Now Hylion, again, is another electric vehicle company, but they're slightly different to Tesla and Fisker in the fact that they're actually also using hydrogen, which in the next 10 years is actually a cheaper solution than electricity. What they're currently doing is they're basically updating the drivetrain to commercial diesel trucks. These companies can just add onto their already existing trucks. So it's much easier than just buying a complete new fleet. So I love that idea. For now, hydrogen is an awesome option it's cheaper than electric so I think that this company has great potential upside there's a lot of analysts that think this company's worth about $25 so that gives me already straight away from here at least a 50% upside so tattooed chef this is another vegan company absolutely love it they're recently IPO'd again using a SPAC which is a reverse merger where a blank check company is created and their sole purpose is to acquire another company they were a white labeling company that basically made products for other companies and now got their own brand which is the Tattooed Chef. They're absolutely smashing it. They're in loads of the biggest department stores in the US. They're doing really well. I actually bought this company and I was in a loss for about a month. And then we started to see some massive gains. I put more money in when it's down. When it goes up, I sell those positions as quick profit, but I keep the shares that I want. In this case, it's 300 shares. So my second from last position is Lordstown Motors. They're another electric vehicle company. I love what the car looks like. Here's one of them. Woo! It was recently in front of the White House where Donald Trump was actually looking at it. So that was great for the news. It shot up. It's come back down then. We're down 26% in the last 30 days, but I'm only down 6%. They're going after the fleet market. So people will be buying loads of these cars. They currently have 50,000 pre-orders. I'll just keep buying and I'll keep holding. And then my last current position, EFT. They're going to merge with Paysafe, which is a competitor to PayPal and Square. They're basically in the gaming industry and the gambling industry. And this is a huge, huge market market and right now they're up 34% but they haven't even got an official date of the merger yet so there's huge huge upside for this but there's massive risk you know you could lose 34% but that's the good thing about SPACs if you don't know you're basically entitled to at least $10 back from your share if the merger doesn't go through there is a chance that this merger might not go through and you will lose 34% of this current price so that's something to keep in mind when you're investing in SPACs you know you'd love to get into PayPal or Square right at the start been publicly traded before but then they were bought out by another company and then they were delisted from the UK stock exchange I think it was and now they're going to be relisted but yeah so that's my portfolio for now 54,225 
December 19th. Like I said earlier in the video, if you wanna open up your own ISA accounts or your own general investment accounts, I highly suggest Trading212 or Free Trade. Those links are in my bio. Do sign up through those. I'd really appreciate it. And we both get a free stock, so it's a win-win. If you appreciate this video and you like these portfolio updates, smash that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. And if you did, I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.